Konnichiwa, YouTubers. This is Red Stock Straight from Point Magoo, California. Today we're going to do a video review of BTS Toys, BTS 04 Sonicron. Let's take a look at this. Uh, here's the box. This is a third party toy, it's not uh, licensed by Hasbro. Uh, BTS Toys, I haven't heard from them. They're not as well known as, uh, I don't know, I don't collect these uh, assaulters. I don't know who, well, all the other uh, third party toys. It does come with a neat looking back gear. Yeah, the front pops off so you can kind of see uh, it's a video cassette recorder from back in the day so it's only instead of being an 80s I like the uh, actually it looks like it does mini discs I don't know remember uh, binary can you read binary I can but I don't want to this is a uh, back of the box side of the box so uh, kind of nondescript I like the uh, homage to sound wave so yeah sonicron sound wave that's what's uh there we go let's take a look at it it's not Man, was it difficult to actually try to put it together. This thing should snap on, but dang it, if I couldn't, I tried. Uh, so, yeah, here it is. I really don't like this bottom piece right here. It doesn't stand up very well. I mean, but the rest of it is kind of neat. You have this, record, battery, ba more batteries, re rewind, actually. And it does kind of actually work if you press this button right here. It does pop in, and I have an old cassette, Rat Bat, fits in there. Yeah. Uh, almost almost does <laughs> like those are the old sound wave the g1 q marker so it has good paint apps it has it's color accurate i mean it has that blue so you can see very good detailing it does have a mic mode so all i have to do is just pop this out right here and and if you wanted to record people i have these little mics over here just to make it nice and pretty pop this out it's kind of cool and there's I don't know what the heck this is but it becomes a nice little weapon just pop it right here and that's your mic mode right there it's kind of neat neat little alternate mode I'm zoom microphone it's got quite a bit of detail and as you can see DC voltage tape speed doesn't actually move down it looks like you can connect the DC voltage right there so you know, great detailing buttons don't move up not bad for what it is I mean it attempted comes with instruction sheet also in the little stat sheet you know it's kind of neat because rarely does it come with American toys come with a stat sheet but here this one does very homage to a Japanese toy so there we go you have a nice little alt mode I'm just gonna pop that back out so a little extra oh might as well show you right here it's transformation is kind of weird it's okay for an alt mode I give it a 7 out of 10 because it's a little floppy it took me forever just to get it like this so pop this out it comes with a little extras too, I forgot. It comes with an extra head. And here's the extra head. Light piping too, so. Yeah. And there's not bad detailing on it too. So it does come a few extras. This thing right here pops off. I can get it to pop off. That's actually the arm right there. And this is a little thing about these things is, man. It comes with this little cool looking device here. Very neat, very neat actually. See if I can pop this together. I'm going to go ahead and start disassembling everything. These are the feet right here. Pops on down. Split that apart. Alright. This actually flips up. And those are going to become the heel spur. And we're going to separate that. Man, it's just painful. This is actually a painful transformation. And quite frankly, it pains me. To, it really does pain me, pains me to do this. Alright. It should not have to come apart there. And this is what's kind of rough about this. I'm trying to separate this. And ugh, it's just painful to do this. Oh, man. Why is it so difficult to separate? I don't know. Ah, I'm afraid I'm going to break something. But it has great light pipes in there. Alright, split the legs to the side right here. This accordion's out. Just down like that. And that does become the leg. <laughs> so yeah, just accordion's down. Yeah, wonderful. The first foot right there. Okay, so now I'm going to try to pop these things back in. I think I have to pop them in in the right. So yeah, it, really it should not have done that. It really should not have done that. So I'm trying to figure this out. So yeah, I think it pops in like this. So excuse me. Not a big fan of this figure. Should not be doing all this jazz. Yeah. Well, let me figure that out later. Go ahead. 
this thing accordions down and it does snap in okay all right that's the arm this arm actually goes off like that and down I'm done <laughs> this thing sucks okay that was painful so I finally put the pieces back together so let's go back to where we were all right <laughs> Let's see if I remember this piece right here does slide down so that becomes the other shoulder. Uh, I don't know if I showed you this but the uh, let's see that just comes like up part like that. Perfect. All right and same thing with the other side that just pops out. Other fist pops up. That's good. Good good good. Let's see this is also painful. I can get it without breaking it and this is what I don't like about this thing is really flimsy there we go and head just pops out good good man and I tell you even though there's this tab right here where the crotch piece goes man it just does not want to stay in so shoulders just pop out or sorry the elbows pop out and there we go and that's pretty much it let's see you got good light piping yeah look at that light up the night so it's not bad looking his gimmick is still employed so if you want to put the little cassette i can't get rat bat to fit in there i mean the standard cassettes from back in the day still work but i can't get rat bat or any uh the only that's the only cassette i have it does have a waist swivel it is a ball jointed head and like i said we do have a spare head so all you have to do if you don't mind just there it is the ball joint pop it in I don't know which one you prefer. I could care less. That one looks kind of weird to me. I'm going to put the other G1, more G1 accurate head. There we go. So as far as articulation, you do have a ball jointed head. that swivels back and forth. Comes off. Really don't like the plastic on this thing. Ball jointed elbow, or sorry, shoulder, bicep swivel. It's hard to move that joint, but... And it also pops off. I really hate the quality of this thing. I, I'm really not recommending buying this uh, second party transformer. There you go. That moves shoulder right here. So, yeah. I mean, it's flimsily made. The plastic looks cheap to me. They're thin. It does have a bicep swivel. Swivel joint right here. Weird looking swivel on the top. You have a knee joint. It doesn't have a swivel on the ankle and that weird joint there for the thigh I mean it, it stands up okay and it does have a few extras too Let me put it there okay there you go uh, put them against the deluxe so it is about deluxe size I do have G1 here just a point just so as a size comparison so yeah I mean and yeah G1 tends to buckle a little bit so there you go. I mean, slightly smaller than G1, bigger than a, bigger than a deluxe. Uh, oh yeah, I forgot. It got a ton of extras. Has this little weapon over here that you can put, shoulder mounted, make it make it look snazzy. So, I mean, he could be loaded for bear. There's no doubt about it. I forgot this little piece right here actually was attached to there. I don't know if I showed you how to remove that. All you do is it just come pops off, and also over here. And yeah, so if you want to, it, it kind of reminiscent of his G1 gun here. So all you have to do is just pop that right back in there. And it does have a little five, little five millimeter peg. So yeah, there we go. I, I really, really have issues with this thing. It, it's hard to recommend it. Uh, it really is G1-ish. It does really invoke the images, but as you can see, this thing is just falling apart. Huh. What are the things? I'm trying. Okay, I really am trying to make this thing look good, okay? I'm going to get uh, Megatron out of the way. What are the things we have? Okay, yeah, you got this humongous missile launcher that we can put on his shoulder. Oh, yeah, and what are the things? This thing, these little jacks right here could be placed over here on the top of his shoulder. They got little mounts over here that you can just... Well, I'll put it on this shoulder because it actually can take a little bit of pressure. There you go. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this is one. Oh, I cannot recommend this figure. I'm sorry, man. 
I bought this. They got a 29 bucks a big bad toy store. Yeah, you know, you know my deal with that. Come on, we're we're almost done. This thing does have a little switch over here, but I'll be darned if I can get this sucker out. I don't have the patience for that, but it really just like this thing right here tabs in. Okay, there we go. Oh yeah, it tabs in in the back, and yeah, they got some nice little missile launches right here. And if I can remove this, that thing would tab in into here. But yeah, as you can see, that thing, I'm going to try. I'm going to try. Man, I'm a trooper. I'm going to try this. Yeah, this thing is taking me forever. But, you know, I don't know how you remove that. I know you can. You probably need like a knife or something. Probably should have brought something. But, you know what? Just bear with me, okay? Look, anyways, I'm just going to, there's a tab right here, and it basically would tab into like that. So, yeah, not bad looking, but it's so flimsy. I can't recommend this. Look at this thing. This thing's falling apart. <sighs> very disappointing, very disappointing indeed. The alt mode, it does invoke G1. I mean, what can I say? There's G1, man. The man, the myth, the legend, it's it just a pale comparison. Four out of ten for that flimsy robot mode. Dang. All right, YouTuber, that's all I got. And I'll catch you all next time.